It's ten o'clock. Do you know where your moderators are? Hate raids are taking over Twitch and causing many streamers to get banned. Now hate raid bots are starting to target Discord servers and with Discord's new update, your server might become the next prime target. But don't worry, there is a very simple and easy way to prevent that. Hey Bobas, I'm Mari and today I wanted to show you how to adjust your Discord permissions with Discord's new threads update. What are threads? Threads allow multiple topics in a channel to exist and grow with their own dedicated space temporarily without having to commit a whole new channel for the server. This makes it a lot easier to follow along, especially when you have a big server because that helps eliminate a lot of confusion when multiple people are talking all at once. It's similar to how Facebook tried adding vanish mode in Messenger last year, which we all know was a terrible mistake, and now Discord is going to be implementing something similar. This feature is something that is currently in beta as I'm recording this video, but it's going to be fully implemented on September 16th, 2021, which is literally in 48 hours. I want to apologize ahead of time if this video isn't as well structured compared to my other how-to videos, but I wanted to release this quickly. Many people seem to have concerns over the update in regards to threads being turned on and allowed by default from all users if you don't adjust your settings right now. I've been seeing many communities get their Discord servers attacked and if they have permission to your Discord threads, they will most certainly attack your Discord through that. So let's go over a few steps on how to make adjustments to your permissions to turn this off. So over in my Discord, I have a lot of different categories here and if I, for whatever reason, don't want anyone to have permissions to using threads on my Discord, I would just simply go to one of my categories and press edit category. Then I would go to permissions, scroll down over to whatever permissions you want to set, which let's go to everyone here and I would start to disable any permissions I don't want them to have access to. And if you scroll all the way down to text channel permissions, you can see right here the send messages in threads, create public threads, create private threads, all sorts of things like that. You can literally just press the X button and that will disable it. And I really recommend that you actually click on the X button because if you don't and you just leave it on the slash, there's a good chance that they might still have access to be able to create threads. I highly recommend disabling everyone's permission and creating a special role to your discord to allow people to be able to talk on your channel. This just provides a very simple extra layer of security to prevent any type of hate raid bots that potentially might spam your discord. It makes your discord less likely to get attacked by hate raid bots. Once you finish adjusting all the roles in your actual category, you just want to go to the actual channel itself and press edit channel and then go over to permissions and just double check that it's synced over and for whatever reason if it did not sync over you could just press the sync now and it will sync that channel to the permissions that you had set for that category. And just make sure to double check every channel to ensure that you do have them all synced so that way you don't have to worry about setting all these permissions individually. Trust me, I have done this and I literally spent days trying to readjust all my permissions because I didn't do this in the categories before I had made all of the special roles. And it was a pain in the butt. Some things to keep in mind are that level two boosted servers will have access to private threads, which means this is another feature that you can of course disable members permissions on. So what happens if you actually actually want to keep threads enabled on your server and you want to know how to enable a thread for a particular member. Well, all you gotta do is go to this plus button and select this create a thread and this will literally give you the option to name your new thread, enter whatever message you want, and then you can archive it if it hasn't been active within 24 hours, three days, one week, or just one hour. It's really up to you, but of course it depends if you boosted your server for how long you can keep that thread opened. And if you notice over here, you can select the only people you invite and moderators can see for a private thread, which is pretty nice if you have a very big Discord community and you're trying to moderate and talk about things that you don't want others to see and you don't want it to really last in your Discord. Threads does have a lot of pros and I'm actually really excited for threads to be opening up. I think it's really cool to be able to have little mini conversations that is more off topic than having to create all these multiple channels. So that is a bonus for threads. Now that threads are being implemented, it kind of makes me want to readjust my Discord server again. I'm someone who gets very peeved when people talk about something that's not directed for that particular channel. But of course, I know that there are a lot of concerns over the whole bot attack. So I just wanted to show you that you can disable it and you don't have to worry about anyone having access to make threads on your Discord server. You can literally make it so that way only your 
moderators or yourself can actually enable these threads so you won't have to worry about anybody else doing that. I have spent literal days fixing my current Discord server to how I wanted it, not realizing all these time-saving shortcuts I could have done. And I don't want any of you to get burnout trying to learn all this stuff when I could have just simply showed you what I learned. I hope this video was helpful to you and if you have any questions about Discord or would like to give your own tips for others on making a Discord, then please leave a comment down below and I will get back to you. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!